Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Leo for the week of September 26th through October 2nd of 2022. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up and a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed as well as left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, Leo, let's see what's in store for you. And your first card out, the fool. So taking a leap of faith. Trying something new out this week for yourself. You're taking the blindfold off and you're just sort of taking that true leap of faith in something. Now, whether this is a job, a relationship, you know, you're starting over in some sort of aspect of your life and uh, you're sort of saying doesn't matter it's my dream I want to go f you know through with it and I'm going to do it that sort of attitude and the six of pentacles so feeling like you have enough you're feeling generous and, and abundant and willing to share what you have now whether that's knowledge tangible goods well, it's always nice to feel good about helping others and knowing that they're uh, accepting it in the true meaning of the word that, you know, nothing's owed to either one. You're doing it because you want to do it and they're very happy that you are. And the world. So definitely starting over in some aspect of your life. You finished, you come to some sort of decision you know, some sort of crossed finish line in your life and uh, taking another look at where you want to go from here. Now, this could be in a job, place of residence, um, the relationships that you're in in some cases. You, maybe you're thinking of taking a trip that you always wanted, always dreamed about for others. And the Eight of Cups. So looking at all that you've put forward, all the different efforts that you have, now whether this is in a job and where it could be in a home that you live in, maybe you've invested a lot of time and energy into it and, and others, this could be a relationship, but you're wondering, do I, am I going to ever feel fulfilled in this or am I just going to keep putting effort into it and not getting any tangible results for myself? So for some of you, as you're thinking of walking away, just being done with whatever this happens to be, whether there's a job or a relationship where you live for others and just starting over fresh somewhere else. And the King of Cups. So water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now this could be a relative, a friend, somebody that you know. You know, maybe you're going to them for some sort of advice. You know, they're very nurturing and caring. They like to see everybody have enough of everything. They're very motivated. You know, if there's a problem, they like to solve it happily, not, you know, one side or the other. And the emperor. You know, maybe, you've, maybe you're in a situation for some of you is a job where you're not very happy. You know, maybe you've been there for a long time and you're doing all the dirty work and not getting any of the recognition for it, that sort of thing. And so you're thinking about cutting your losses and moving along because you know it's best for you. You know, it's it's terrible when you put that much effort into a job or relationship and having nothing to show for it or getting any rewards for it. And the nine of rods. So you've definitely been through the battles. You stood your ground. You know, you have that heavy club. You're not afraid to use it if you have to. And there's more in the background if you need them. Now, whether that's good ideas or defending yourself or just, you know, standing your ground, you're very proud that way. And you're not afraid of, you know, anything, which is wonderful. 
you're just sort of trying to make that decision now which way you want to go for yourself do I want to keep putting the effort into you know defending myself and and how always feeling like I have to or am I cutting my losses and you know getting away from all of it and the king of swords so that could be yourself because you know that's your air signs Gemini Libra and Aquarius so maybe you're having to make some some decisions this could be a friend a relative your other half you know they're very verbal they're not pr uh, afraid to tackle you know problems head on so maybe you're going to them for some sort of advice or how to go about things you know we're getting a little more clarity on on a situation going in there So, and the star. So getting noticed, people are starting to realize, you know, what you have and what you've offered and what you've done in some cases. You know, it's things are starting to turn around for you and you're starting to realize for yourself all of what you've managed to accomplish. So maybe you're trying to find answers for yourself, you know, with everything that you've put all the efforts into, you want it to give you some sort of reward in in the end whether that's somebody recognizing you or giving you you know a, a bonus for your hard work but something big's coming in something you've been thinking about for quite a while and I think you're going to because it's been speaking to your heart for a long time you've been definitely thinking about this and I think now you may be uh, going to step forward in it you're going to make it happen whatever it happens to be and the Ten of Rods. So yeah, definitely been carrying burdens for a long time. Now whether you've put them on yourself or somebody else has put them on, you've been carrying these for quite some time, trying to make everything balance out. I think now you're going to just sort of tell people, you're going to delegate it a little bit better. You're going to realize that, you know, you didn't do this all yourself. And you're willing to not only ask for help, but you're willing to accept it so that you know, some of them burdens can be lifted from your shoulder so that you can feel a little more relief in life. And the lovers. All right. So making a commitment for sure in something, something that you're passionate about. Like I said, whether that's a relationship or a career for some of you, something that speaks to your heart, something you've always wanted to do. And I think now you're just going to start the process going forward in making it come you know all the way so that you can go forward now whether this is starting your own business or not or changing jobs changing home and residence for some but you've made that decision this week and i think you're going to talk it over with your family or your partner and tell them it's time And the Knight of Pentacles. So some sort of um, mini trip for yourself, a little getaway, time to think, taking a time out for yourself, taking a drive for some of you if you have that luxury. Just needing to get away, some sort of little mini, you know, getaway. But it's, an, it's a beginning, it's a new beginning for yourself and I think you're just taking a time out to clear your head. And the Nine of Swords. So most definitely losing sleep over this whole go around this week and your decisions and whether you're making the right one or the wrong one. You know, what will people think or say? Doesn't matter. This is your decision. The only one who's going to have to answer to it and live up with it is yourself. So maybe this is a talk that you have to have with somebody and you weren't quite sure how to go about it. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But it's left you, you know, all up in your head. Maybe they said something and, you know, it's making you rethink a lot of things in your life. But whatever it is, you're losing sleep over it. And that's not good. So I think this week you're going to, you know, get up one morning and say, that's it. I'm going to, you know, 
take the bull by the horn, so to speak, and, and get this dealt with so I can find peace of mind for myself. And the Ace of Cups, so most definitely. You know, an offer coming in, abundance flowing, you know, something that you, you know, speaks to your heart, something you're passionate about. You know, it's been, it's been there for a long time and you know it has. It's just a matter of you've always put it on the back burner and put it on the back burner because either you didn't have the time or the funds or, you know, raising your family, that sort of stuff. And now it's time for you. You need to do this for you and you know that. And the Page of Pentacles. So a beginning for sure coming at you. Some sort of new beginning could be a, a new job, new opportunity, something knocking out the door sort of thing for you. And you realize that it's the right step for me. It's the right time for me. If I don't do it now, it may stay on that back burner for till it's too late. And I think you're coming to realize that you don't want that to happen. So you're going to, you know, somebody's going to say something to you or give you that little bit of a nudge and you're going to realize that it's time. I can do this. This is for me. This needs to be. And the death card. So most definitely, you know, taking a time out, like I said, you know, cutting your ties, feeling a little bit remorse over you know, what you've had to let go, whether that's friendships in some cases, towns where you've grown up in and for others, um, just the jobs that you've had to let go, things that you've surrendered, but you know that they had to in order for you to keep moving forward. So maybe you're just having that sort of week where you're remembering all that what you've let go and it's not so hard to let go this time to get what you want. Because you're realizing that you've rebuilt once and you know what? It wasn't so bad. All right. And your angel oracle card says, Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Well, isn't that befitting? All right, Leo, there you go. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.